Not gonna lie, this shot right here could have easily been someone's desktop wallpaper and I wouldn't mind it one bit because it looks really good. Aesthetics aside, the boys really went ahead with this underwater trek and they actually made it to another tree. It's just that they went to the wrong tree. But fear not, Kaina is a mad lad and the most life-threatening kind to boot. And eventually, they did find a way to close the gap significantly. It's just that this time, they were late to the party. But Kaina is blessed with the eyes of a hawk and he somehow finds Ririha despite being so far away. So yes, the boys still have time to save her by the end of this unwanted cliffhanger of an episode ender. Outside of Kaina and Yauna's POV, Ririha decided to bluff her way into intimidating Valgia, only for Valgia to find her bluffs as mere interesting stories. And when the Admiral of Valgia showed up for negotiations, he committed the worst possible sacrilege you could ever do to a messenger. Killing said messenger. I mean, if you know Genghis Khan, then killing the messenger has never been a good idea. And if Ririha and Yauna's father is like Genghis Khan in the art of war, you just know. Valgia won't get out of this upcoming war scot-free and I'm already expecting a sea of blood if that is the case. I mean, look at this guy. He got told that his son, who is likely to succeed him one day, has gone missing alongside Kaina. And how did he react? Pure apathy, folks. The man cannot be bothered when war is on the horizon. The man's dedication to ruling cannot be overstated and only time will tell if this bold strategy will pay off for him, Cotton. And with that said, that's basically it for me for this episode. I thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next episode.